MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment, continuing my videos talking about the 2017 NFL Draft Scouting Combine, and today we're talking about the tight ends, and what a class of tight ends that we have here, a sensational day from the 2017 NFL Draft tight ends. Where shall we start? Let's start with OJ. O.J. Howard out of Alabama, who has now become the number two tight end, it seems, in this draft class. But today, I think he had an argument to say about that as he ran a 4-5-1-40, a sensational 40 for a tight end. Standing at, what, 6'6", 251 pounds, running a 4-5-1-40, sensational, just incredible. I really loved his body, too. That guy's big. I mean, that guy is just big. You look at Gronk, right? Heaven was just so shocked by his body, he has physical. Physicality. Uh, OJ Howard looks. I don't know. I want to see a side by side comparison of them. I won't be surprised OJ Howard is bigger. I think he is uh, in terms of just height and weight. Um, OJ Howard looks huge. He looks huge. He looks crisp. He looks good. He looks like a good route runner. He looks like he was underused at Alabama. Now, I have a problem with these tight ends um, in terms of their production. They didn't produce much, all of them. Uh, you know, some of them did. Uh, I want to say Jordan Leggett. Um, no, he even didn't produce much. I mean, they didn't produce much statistically. Like Eric Ebron a couple years ago, he produced like over 900 receiving yards or something like that. O.J. Howard, he still only produced like 500, 600 receiving yards this year. Um, but you have to look past that. Look at the traits, okay? That's what I always tell myself. And today you saw the traits from O.J. Howard. He looked great. And I also like hearing uh, when you talk about the Senior Bowl. He went to the Senior Bowl and everyone was saying, everyone was talking about, man, that guy's the best player on the football field. And I like th that feeling of knowing that I have a guy that when he went to the Senior Bowl, everyone could look around. Everyone. Everyone could look and say, that's the best player on the field. And I like knowing that about him. It's a little thing, but to me, it's a, it's a thing. It's an important thing. Uh, 22 reps on the bench press. And when you looked at his form, he was going close grip to me. Uh, he was going too close to me. Uh, so he has the power there. Uh, and he, a guy that can block. He needs to be a little better blocking uh, to me to you know really have success in the NFL. But I mean, this guy could really end up being just beastly. I need to see him be a little more physical. Okay, you're so huge, dude. Be a little more physical with these guys. Let's dominate some folks out here. I need to see that from O.J. Howard. Um, but, man, right now, I really like O.J. Howard as a prospect. We look at David Njoku, who is now being ranked over O.J. Howard consistently. Uh, I have not watched the tape on either of these guys yet, but I will have by Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday, I'm going to watch both of them. Uh, currently, I like O.J. Howard better, but that's just because I really haven't watched much of Njoku. Njoku today was very good as well, okay? Especially in terms of the broad jump, having a broad jump over 11 feet. I mean, that is just ridiculous. You look at his vertical jump of 37.5, absolutely absurd. Had a bench press of 21 reps. You know, he's strong. He is great, okay? I mean, this is absolutely great athletically. Uh, O.J. Howard is faster, but Njoku ran a 4.64, which may sound slow, but try Trust me, it's good for a tight end, and we like that number for a tight end. Uh, and Joku, to me, impressed today. Uh, I thought O.J. Howard was better in the drills. I really do. Um, maybe I still have some bias there. Um, I saw plenty of people tweeting that they thought Njoku was better in the drills, but... I don't know. I kind of liked O.J. Howard in the drills today over Njoku, but Njoku is still very good. Uh, that's just my personal preference right now that no one has. Uh, so I guess I'm alone on this, but that's fine. I've been alone on plenty of stuff. I will continue to be alone on plenty of stuff. We look at the other guys. So Jake Butt couldn't do anything. Okay, still recovering from his torn ACL. We look at some other guys. How about Bucky Hodges? A great day for Bucky Hodges, the tight end out of Virginia Tech. And I'm ready to excuse uh, Bucky Hodges for his lack of production this year because his quarterback play is awful. We saw Gerard Evans today, the quarterback out of Virginia Tech. That boy is terrible. He looks awful, and he, he just in terms of just his body, he's, uh, he looks terrible, and in terms of his throws, he's terrible also, and I saw the tape. He's bad. Uh, so, I'm willing to excuse, and this despite Maurice Jones-Drew raking him as the fifth best quarterback in this class. I mean, was anyone else shocked by the stupidity at times from Maurice Jones-Drew and Ike Taylor today? Sometimes these guys can just be straight up dumb. I don't know why the NFL Network decides to have these guys on for draft coverage. I get that they're funny, fashion popo, haha, -ha, morons. But seriously, sometimes these guys are just, I don't know, I don't like them um, in terms of draft. They don't know what they're talking about. I know 
older former players, they know more than me. But if you rank Gerard Evans as your number five quarterback in this draft, man, you need to reevaluate something. We move on. Bucky Hodges, uh, to me, he did well. I liked him athletically. Uh, he's huge. His shoulders are so broad. My God, he kind of looked like a damn defensive end. Um, you know, so that was <laughs> that was shocking to see. Um, but yeah, he looks good, and uh, his hands could be a little more natural. Um, more of a natural hands catcher, but I'm really impressed with him, and he looks like a solid second rounder. Uh, first round, no. I, I, I can't say that. Some will. I won't. We look at Evan Ingram, though. I want to talk about first round. Uh, New England Patriots, if they're looking to replace Rod Gronkowski, this may be the guy. As Evan Ingram runs an official 4 uh, 40 yard dash of 4.42, an incredible 40 yard dash from Evan Ingram. And this is a guy that I really liked. I tweeted back in September. I said, man, Evan Ingram looks like a first rounder to me. And I've remained consistent on that. I like Evan Ingram. Now, I do have questions about him as a tweener. Now, I understand as tight ends, uh, they're mainly now, they're playing a lot more in the slot anyway. So we don't care if they're tweeners, but he's really just not a good blocker. So he's going to have to be. More of a wide receiver now. Um, you can do great with that. We look at Jimmy Graham. That guy's fantastic. Uh, his bench press, though, he did have 19 reps in the bench press. So he has the strength behind him, so just improve his technique. Wow, that's impressive to have 19 bench press reps at 234 pounds. Uh, that's pretty good right there, honestly. Um, okay, I, I like you having Ingram. Uh, we also like his uh, broad jump was pretty good. Uh, not over 11 feet like uh, in Joku, but still very good. Trust me on that. So Evan Ingram really looked good today. Will he go first round? I don't think so. Excuse me. Um, I still expect second. Um, but to me, he solidified that because some people did have him in the third. I think he has solidified himself in the second round. It'll be interesting to see how a team would use him, though, uh, because to me, he will be more of a wide receiver. So then the question is, how good of a wide receiver is he? And how does he compare relative to the other wide receivers in this class and in the NFL? And how can he beat these cornerbacks consistently? That becomes my problem, because O.J. Howard is a guy that will be matched up against linebackers, because you just cannot put a corner on him, right? Unless if you just have a big physical corner. Evan Ingram, the argument is I can put a corner on him. There's not many corners, but there are corners I can put on Evan Ingram. And when he's on these corners, will he find consistent success? That's my question. So even though he does, obviously, is better athletically than an O.J. Howard or in David Njoku, but now you're, okay, you're better athletically, but you're shorter. Um, and now you're, you're not a great blocker, so you're going to receive a lot of cornerback coverage. How will you do with that? A lot of strong safety coverage from strong safeties that can cover. A lot of dying linebackers um, covers from linebackers who can cover. Instead of like uh, OJ Howard and Joki consistently going up against weak side linebackers, uh, strong safeties that are bigger but can't really cover. So that becomes the problem. That becomes uh, the thing you have to look at when it comes to these tight ends versus uh, being slot uh, receivers. Okay, so that's my concern. Is there anyone that has... Okay, Jordan Reed, they do this with him, but he's pretty big, uh, Jordan Reed. I mean, he's not that tall. He's pretty tall. Um, but ah, I don't know. Evan Ingram, there's something that just I, – I, I'm not comfortable with him as a first-rounder, though. I, I think this tweener uh, ship will hurt him a little bit. I don't like him better than Njoku or Howard. Uh, we look at – Gerald Everett, okay, so the tight end out of South Alabama. I need to turn on the film and look at him because I, I haven't. It's South Alabama film, so excuse me for not being uh, very eager to turn that on. Um, but today I liked him. He, you know, did very well on his own. The problem is he was just matched up against these other tight end freaks. I mean, you talk about, again, a 37 and a half vertical jump. Talk about a 22 bench press reps. Uh, this is very good. Uh, and in terms of his drills, I liked him in the drills. Uh, kind of looked um, he looks like a good tight end. I think he has a good tight end build. Uh, I, I need to turn on the film, though, for him. I need to really see what he looks like out there compared against that competition and how that projects for the NFL. But he passed today. Definitely passed today. He, he did more than pass. He aced it. Uh, we look at everyone aced it. I mean, this tight end group was incredible. How about this George Little? Or is that his name? George, I don't even, Kittle. Sorry, George Kittle. I don't even know this guy out of Iowa. So um, I'm going to rely on the analysis of, who was this? Was this Bucky Brooks? I don't, I don't know these idiots anymore uh, on the NFL Network. 
uh, that was talking about him, but he said that this guy's a very good blocker, okay? And to have that ability and then to come out and to run a 4 5 2 40, you have my attention. And I don't know anything about this guy. I really want to turn on the film and see was he underutilized at Iowa. Um, I hate C.J. Beathard as a prospect, so it wouldn't shock me uh, that Beathard did not use him correctly, did not utilize this guy, um, and that he was minimized because of Beathard. So uh, I want to turn on the film and see that, but I really liked what I saw from George Kittle. Uh, this is a guy, I don't know where he's projected to go now, but he looked to me uh, to be a tight end worthy of going in the fourth. Um, and then uh, maybe even the third. He, he looked pretty good. Uh, he looked maybe the fourth for this draft because it's a deep draft. So you don't want to take too big of a flyer. In last year's draft, third, definitely. But this year, probably fourth, maybe even fifth. Uh, if I sit down and rank everybody, which I will never do. Uh, we move on to Jordan Leggett. So he did not participate in the 40, which is concerning for me. Uh, because, um, who cares, dude? You were tight end. Of course, you're not supposed to run fast. Maybe because he knew everyone else was so good this year. The competition is so steep. I just can't go out there and embarrass myself. But man, I really would have liked to seen him out there. But hey, you know, 33 vertical, uh, 18 bench press reps, which was actually one of the lower ends, but it's fine. Uh, we look at... Uh, broad jump was kind of 9'6", not great. 9 feet, 6 inches, not great. Um, and his drills were actually pretty good, though. I liked he came out of his breaks. He had a curl route that I felt was pretty good. Um, he had some other stuff that I felt was pretty good. So I'm interested in him. Uh, I wouldn't take him second. Uh, I've seen some people have him in the second round. Last year, okay, because Austin Hooper went in the second round, and he's not – he's okay. I mean, you may even say he's pretty good, but there's nothing spectacular about uh, this guy, okay? Uh, Jordan Leggett, there's a lot more. I like Jordan Leggett better than Austin Hooper – and Hunter Henry, I'd say I like him better than... No, I'd say Hunter Henry I like a little more as a prospect. Uh, Hunter Henry being for the San Diego Chargers. Austin Hooper, by the way, being on the Atlanta Falcons. They were in last year's draft. Just in case you can't keep up with my ridiculous mind. That sometimes I always like to talk to you guys as if you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, As if... Uh, you know, we're, we're both on the same level of football knowledge and uh, whatever. And maybe you are. And if you are, hey, how you doing? Uh, but sometimes I should give a little more layman's terms um, like I'm an idiot, like Colin Cowherd. Uh, so we look at, man, I'm trashing a lot of people today. Yikes. Uh, I'm not going to get a job anytime soon, but it's okay. We look at, how about this Daryl Daniels? Uh, this tight end out of Washington, okay, uh, Jake Browning, I think this guy is so overrated as a quarterback, the current quarterback for Washington, so it does not shock me uh, that Daniels did not have great production, he'd be wearing a 4 5 40 today, um, I thought he looked okay in the drills, kind of looked like he could lose maybe some fat, maybe, you know, trim, he, he's 247, which is not big uh, in terms of just pounding, but he looked like he could be a little um, tighter, okay, so I, I want to see him become a little tighter, be wearing a 4 5 40. I mean, who was so? I mean, maybe I'm not supposed to say anything. Um, I'm intrigued by him. Uh, anyone else I'm intrigued by? I mean, oh, John U. Smith. I liked John U. Smith today. Um, you look at, I'm a Titans fan, and we're looking at some potential tight ends late, maybe even early. Uh, I don't want to take one early, but we're looking at some. Uh, so, John U. Smith, I like him in the uh, fifth round, sixth round. I liked him. I, I think there's some nice potential with this John U. Smith. Um, and really that's it. So uh, those are my thoughts on the tight ends from the 2017 NFL Draft Scouting Combine. What are yours? Comment down below. I want to know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, to subscribe. And until next time, this has been the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment, and I'm out. Peace.